Hey everybody, I'm Will Martin. I wanna talk about the decline in enrollment in RN to BSN programs. This is information that was released by the AACN over the summer. And it's called Data Spotlight, Declines in RN to BSN Program Enrollments. And it was published in July of 2023. So it says that for the fourth year in a row, enrollment in RN to BSN programs have decreased. The 2022-23 school year saw a 16.9% decline, that's almost 20,000 students, in RN to BSN programs in schools that were reporting data in both 21 and 22. And it marked the first year of nationwide enrollment drop below 100,000 students since 2012. Okay. So that's fairly significant. Let's uh, see what else they have to say. Now they break it down between historically black colleges and universities and predominantly white institutions. And the RN to BSN enrollment at historically black colleges decreased nearly 22% compared to 16.8% at mostly white colleges. Conversely, though, the black student enrollment decreased by the smallest amount, 12%, compared to other single racial or ethnic groups, such as American Indians and Alaskan Natives. Uh, they saw a 20%, 20.2% drop in enrollment. So despite the decline in both entry-level baccalaureate and RN to BSN enrollment, over 70% of employers express a strong preference for BSN program graduates. The education and experience gained with a BSN is necessary to meet the healthcare system's changing demands and ensure adequate patient outcomes. Okay, now without, without getting too much on the soapbox here, let's face it, if you're a good nurse, you're a good nurse, regardless of what your educational preparation is. Now, I mean, if your role is to, you know, move up the food chain and, you know, go into administration and management, then you need the bachelor's degree. It's kind of the same story as it's been for the past 30 years. Uh, you can be a great bedside nurse with a diploma. Having the bachelor's degree doesn't make you a better bedside nurse. I can speak from experience having a bachelor's and a master's and a DNP and a PhD and all these letters after my name, and I'm not a better nurse practitioner or a better bedside nurse because of any of those degrees. Uh, the only thing that probably makes me better than I was is simply the experience that I've gained over, uh, you know, 30 plus years of experience. So that's about all you can say uh, about degrees. A degree is something that indicates that you identified a goal and you reached it. That's what a degree says. Okay, just want to show you a couple more things here real quick. This is regional changes in the RN to BSN enrollments. And uh, you can see in the Northeast, the biggest drop, almost 21% decline in enrollment between RN and BSN programs, from RN to BSN programs. The West also saw a significant decline. There was a decline throughout, though. The entire country uh, showed declines. This breaks it down racially. Uh, showing uh, it, it, it zero, and this line right up here is zero. So every racial group saw a decline, um, including the unknown racial group, which saw a significant 26% decline, and the non-U.S. resident. We don't know what, what racial group that is, but it's, apparently it's a significant demographic at 34.4%. And then finally, real quick here, this is the uh, RN to BSN uh, changes in enrollment by school type. So they break down schools into three different types, the private religious type schools, the private seculars, and the public schools. All saw declines, uh, no matter what the uh, school was. So the bottom line is we're seeing a decline in RN to BSN programs. So there are people that are getting their RN and then saying, okay, that's enough for me. I don't need to go any further. And I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I know that goes against what nursing has wanted for the past 15 or 20 years. They want to have every nurse having a bachelor's degree. You know, it's great. It's great to, to try to do, but we have a nursing shortage. We're always going to have a nursing shortage. There's always going to be a shortage of people wanting to do that type of work. And forcing them to get a bachelor's degree 
it just isn't realistic, particularly when if you're honest about it and you take a really good look at what the curriculum is, what the bachelor's degree curricula is, and, and it's, it's silly. There's, there's a lot of fluff in there that doesn't necessarily make anybody a better nurse. So that's my opinion. Anyway, uh, we're going to take a look at graduate school issues on uh, the next video. So uh, stay tuned. Hope to see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.